Well, it's so maddening. Have you ever arrived at a charger and found it blocked by a non-EV car? One that can't charge? Is it an accident? Or is it an attack? Well, I did recently. And I wasn't going to let it stand. So Dave takes it on, looks at what you can do when your charger is blocked. Well, Trentham Gardens near Stoke is a fantastic location for a supercharger. It's just off the busy M6 near the city of Stoke-on-Trent, located inside a national park, Trentham Gardens. The facilities are modern and interesting. There are shops and restaurants and even a venue for concerts. It has, or I should say had, 12 V3 chargers, each at 250 kilowatt, not shared. Has been upgraded since, but I'll cover that in a different video. But on this occasion, I arrived on the evening and the place was buzzing. The car parks were almost full, the venue was in full swing, music could be clearly heard. I was just doing a top-up on my way home, maybe five or ten minutes was all I needed to get there so then I could plug in at home and top up overnight on a cheap off-peak rate. There were just two bays vacant, so I pulled into one, alongside a Porsche Taycan. I do know a bit about cars, I do know a bit about chargers, and this didn't add up. Well, first, the Taycan was not plugged in. Second, the supercharger I knew was not open to non-Teslas. It became obvious what had happened. Not being able to see a parking space right on the doorstep of the venue, and not willing to walk even 50 yards, the driver simply parked in one of the EV charging bays. We had an EV after all. Well, I'm quite outspoken and not shy about talking to people, but there was no sign of the arrogant idiot, and I guess he or she would not reappear until the concert was over, and I'd be long since gone. So I plugged my car in, went off looking for security. All chargers are on land owned by somebody, and all public chargers are managed by somebody, occasionally the same person or company. But sometimes the owner of the land leases the space to the venue, who employ private security to manage the parking, making sure people paid, parked in the right place, etc. And sometimes, like here, the venue organisers themselves employ their own security. It can get very complicated. Well, I found quite quickly a security guard, and he radioed through to the head of security, who arrived a few minutes later. He saw the issue and took down the details. I also photographed the event, and he asked what he was prepared to do right now. I mean, would he issue a penalty notice or clamp him? Well, unfortunately, the rest of the charge is emptied of Teslas, which had finished charging, so I could not exactly claim that he was blocking a charging bay, which was much needed. He did state that he had no direct knowledge of the procedures, he'd not come across it before, but he would take details and pass them up the line. I also asked for the security details and promised to forward the photographs, which I have done. Now I've no idea if anything happened, maybe he was issued with a penalty notice, I doubt it, but I did what I could at that time. However, People know me, I'm not willing to let the matter drop because many of my viewers complain of bays being blocked, so I'm on a bit of a mission now. This video is to bring you up to date and promise that I will not stop until I get a good result. Well, I contacted a number of parking enforcement companies, and the first of those has now replied, and indeed is being amazingly helpful. Parking Eye is the brand, many of us will know, as they are the ones send out parking notices and fines. I've had a couple myself, overstaying a car park. And it then gets complicated. Although my contact was with Parking Eye, which is just around the corner from me, the reply came from Evology in Scotland, which is the body in charge of making sure parking is used correctly. Well, not just specifically EV charging, but also things like mother and child bays and disabled bays. See, they see it as a growing issue. They're aware of complaints, and they're actually doing something about it. Well, first, they have recognised the problem, and their statement reads, Our Evology charger is designed to make sure you can find a charger when you need it without any pesky drivers leaving their non-EV car in the way. And then we make paying for your charging really easy. You just plug in, tap your card to get started, and then tap it again later to stop. Now, at that end quote. So in simple terms, they are changing the way we park, and they seem to be doing quite a good job. They're making payment easier. They make it able to book your parking space in advance, 
and they are taking seriously the issue of people parking incorrectly in the wrong bays, i.e. non-EVs in EV bays. They even have a special section on the website called Evology Access to do this, and they're introducing technology. These are bollards that can monitor disabled, mum and kid and EV charging bays, to make sure they are being used properly. So, the remedy's not here yet, okay? We're looking into it, but no definitive answers, because I asked them would they enforce a penalty notice if I reported one. The reply it got in writing says, The solution also provides protection of EV charging spaces. However, the enforcement capability is at the discretion of the landowner owner or retail operator. End quote. Well, my reading of this is that sometimes the landowner or retail op operator might have a different set of rules, possibly really strict enforcement or a don't upset the customers approach. Well, my mission is only just beginning. I will follow this up and the other parking operators who've not yet replied and I'll get their policies and I'll advertise it all through my channel. I will also find out how to identify who is responsible for enforcement and how to progress a case. Well, much can be done, but I'm actually impressed with Evology, as they at least say they're doing something about it. Well, if any of my viewers find a bay blocked, please either report it to me with photos and date and time, or chase it up yourself. People power is really amazingly, as long as we use it. Well, thanks for watching the video. We want to thank you for watching our long cast. Dave takes it on And if you like what we do What we ask of you is to click that like And subscribe to follow along I'm Dave